February 10th, 2013. Storm chasers are reporting a tornado on the ground in northern Lamar County. The day the Pine Belt will never forget. Large tornado on the ground, coming into Hattiesburg. When I turned on WDAM and saw that camera at Petro. I think we can that's see it. it right there, the tornado on the camera. Yep, um, that's it. It was surreal. A large EF4 tornado took direct aim on Hattiesburg and surrounding areas. One of the first places that took a direct hit was Oak Grove High School. Principal Helen Price remembers the moment it happened. Tornado sirens were going off. We knew there was a possibility, but we didn't know it had hit till I got the call. And I just jumped in my car and came here as quickly as possible. It was like a war zone. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it was devastating. Um, we knew the basketball team was up here, the girls basketball. We knew baseball was up here having practice. So we got here as soon as we heard about it and uh, everyone was safe. They heard it coming and got in the locker room in time. So they were a little traumatized by it as well. Tornado then left Oak Grove and took direct aim on Midtown Hattiesburg. So we're talking about right near USM is where this tornado is headed towards. Chief Hopkins with the USM Police Department remembers that day. Yeah, you know, I, I think first of all is what I saw was even worse than when Katrina came. Uh, trees down, buildings totally destroyed. Elam Arms was literally uh, just uh, uh, could have collapsed at any time because it was right in the path. Uh, the buildings that the roofs were gone, all the windows were out of. When I look at those things combined with the destruction that we saw um, and, and no injuries and no deaths for us, um, it, it could have been a lot worse. While the campus was heavily damaged, the pride of USM wasn't. Students organized a campus-wide cleanup through Facebook. And the response has been overwhelming. I, I quickly realized that we're going to have to work with uh, university officials and different departments to get this uh, organized and going. And three days later, around a thousand students showed up to help pick up debris. The Pine Belt also rose up together to help everyone impacted. Oak Grove High School reopened just a few days later. And our students back in school by today on Valentine's Day, which was a great way to start start back on a good note. The community was amazing. The district was amazing. Everybody jumped on uh, getting things. We were, we were back in school in three days, I think. The tornado then continued into Petal before lifting near Runnelstown. While the tornado left a path of damage, it also gave new life to Midtown. The area where Elam Arms once stood is now a $35 million entertainment district headed up by Rob Tatum. Uh, and for them to have uh, invested that kind of money, uh, Rob and his group, uh, was, was just, it's a game changer. One of the new tenants is Robert St. John, owner of the Midtowner. I think maybe I was one of the first people, I, I, I've been waiting for 10 years for the right spot mm -hmm. and uh, for a breakfast lunch place. I and mean, that's just perfect for us. So we opened the Midtowner and then uh, next to that we did Midtown Donut, which uh, which also fits in with, with that neighborhood. While the tornado may have brought us to our knees, one thing's for sure, we came back stronger than ever. Well, I, th I think this is an entirely different neighborhood. And I see it as a, as a bright future, no matter what we have to overcome. Meteorologist Patrick Bigby on your side.